Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sprout. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day, and I think today we are going to go on a bit of an adventure. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, last time we set up the ener these the <laughs> words this endergenic generator setup, so we now have tons of power, and whenever we need more, it'll make more. Uh, so that is excellent for us. Um, I have it all. I, I put in some conduits, kind of hiding behind the walls here, coming off of there. Hopefully those will uh, allow us to do what we need. But that's not what we're worrying about today. Today we are going on an adventure, as I had said. And we're going somewhere where we've already been, in fact. If we pull up our map, uh, we're like way over here. And when we went to find a stronghold to get to the end a couple episodes ago, we found this mesa. And this mesa had a couple things. There was like a pyramid, and then there was like this ziggurat thing over here. And it looks like, uh, and then there was something else as well. And I kind of want to take a look at those and kind of see what's over there. The other thing I want to do as well, uh, I, I found, uh, or we found uh, an extra waystone, or we stole one actually from an, from a, um, an archaeologist guy. <laughs> we we stole his waystone, and I want to put the waystone over there by the mesa, uh, so that a I can get to the end easily, b I can get to the mesa easily, and c I can just generally get over in that direction easily. So that is the plan. I'm gonna head off in that direction, and I'll be back with you in. Actually, you know what? Let's fight a dragon. I know it's kind of a random thing out of the middle of nowhere, but. We haven't fought a dragon in a while. And I'm actually running a little bit low on some resources, like gold. So, we're going to kill ourselves a dragon. And then we'll worry about uh, heading over in that direction. Come on. You, any anytime. There we go. He's, he's toast. He's dead. Rip dragon. Alright, let's get rid of all this fire and stuff. And I want to loot these chests. It's been a while since we've killed a dragon. That's the first fire dragon we've killed in quite some time. Uh, also, some of you told me, and since we're going to be heading over to the mesa, some of you told me that those ant people things, those ant monsters that we need uh, for one of our slayer quests can be found in the mesa. So hopefully we'll find some of those while we're over there. All right, let's take this guy apart. Take all of his goodies. There we go. Very nice. Uh, definitely take all the gold. That's the the thing I'm actually mostly running out of. And yes, I know I can, uh, I can loot the gold piles, these, for gold nuggets, but it's just such an inefficient way to get gold. It's not really worth it, in my opinion, when I can just find tons of, like, we found 51 gold ingots just over here. I mean, come on. That's, that's way faster. Um, and you know what's probably even faster is if I just break the chests and let my, uh, let my magnets do the rest of the work. So let's just... Oh! Oh, hi! There's another dragon. Uh, we can take this guy, too. I've still got my fire resistant potion going, I think. Yeah. Dragon number two. That was unexpected. He's much smaller. Oh, he's... Uh, ev everything is burning. Okay, hold on. Can we... Will this just burn down the... Tr will, it, will this fire spread to the point where it burns down all the trees and stuff, or...? Is it just, uh, is it just turn stuff into this, like, charred whatever? I'm not entirely sure. It looks like it doesn't spread too far. I'm not going to complain about another dragon. I'll take those loots, too. They're all mine. Give it to me. Why not? And then we'll loot some more chests. Here we go. There's a bunch over here as well. There's so much loot and stuff that you can get in these areas. Diamonds. Uh, we need to... Empty out our inventory already. Look at that. That was so quick. I love it. And now it's starting to get dark and there's flowers and all sorts of stuff lying on the ground. So, I'm going to finish gathering this stuff up. Uh, we'll just take it with us. I don't think I need to take it back to base. I've got so much... I have so much space in my portable storage tablet thing that I'm not even really that concerned about it. But this should get us enough gold to last at least for a while. Hi, spider. Goodbye, spider. How much gold did we get out of that? Oh, I... I need my ring. Fly, please. Get back up in the air where we can check. Okay, 
That got us a little over a stack of gold just by doing that. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, I'm going to head off to the Mesa and all that other good stuff. I'll meet up with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm over at the Mesa. I did actually fight two more dragons along the way because my fire resistance potion was still active. So we actually got quite a bit of gold now, which is good because I was starting to run a little bit low. Not too bad, uh, but we're over here at the Mesa now. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is this is this is the hole that goes down to the end portal. I'm just going to put uh, let's just put our waystone right here and we'll say end portal slash Mesa. There we go. Uh, now, some of you, I, I know that I could put this directly into the end. Uh, like, I could put it on the, you know, somewhere right in the end. But uh, I think it's more valuable to be able to come over here uh, to the Mesa as well. And everything else that's kind of over in this general area. Uh, it's basically a fast travel. And if I do need to go to the portal, it's a quick drop down and, you know, no big deal. So, all right. Um... Let's see, do we want to explore... I think we want to explore the Ziggurat first. And what I'm hoping is that we'll wait for it to become night. And then we'll kind of poke around the Mesa a little bit and hope that we can find some of those ant critter things. Oh, ant worker. Okay, maybe... Well, this is good. That means we know the the other thing is they need to you need got you got to be uh, 1500 blocks from spawn in order to find Oh, there we go. Ant worker. We got him. Okay. That was actually pretty easy. Stumbled across him completely on accident. And then the other thing I need is a selkie and apparently you can find those uh, in very cold places, but you have to be at least 1500 blocks from spawn uh, to find those or the ant workers for that matter. So, that's good to know. Uh, we're gonna be keeping an eye out for things that are far away <laughs> at this point. Now, I don't know. I think this might be a roguelike dungeon. Like, this this little bit right here definitely feels very roguelike dungeon-y to me. But then we get down here, and I look at it, and I'm like, eh, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna break that cave spider spawner before things go horribly wrong. Let's grab our light spell. Sealed quiver. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna put this into my offhand so we can light things up as we go here. And I just want to kind of poke around and see what sort of treasures we can find. I, I'm assuming there will be some treasures we can find. This looks... Oh, there's definitely something over here. Oh, what is this? Is this just... Random vegetation? Oh, there's another cave spider. Okay. Yep. This is definitely not a roguelike dungeon. It is a dungeon of some sort. It's definitely some sort of generated dungeon-like structure. But this is most definitely not a roguelike dungeon. Chests. What have we got? Nothing good there. Uh, nothing super good there. I mean, a couple of name tags and a little bit of diamond, but... Nothing to write home about. Poems. Another book of some sort. I'm assuming that the deeper into this thing you go, the nastier the enemies get and the better the treasure gets. At least that's what I'm hoping. Oh, double zombie spawner. Okay. Let's break both of these. We are going to need spawners here. Because we're going to want to make our own spawners, our, uh, some powered spawners at some point. And at some point, probably in the near future, honestly. Just So the more spawners we can collect to therefore convert... Uh, oh, baby zombie. Baby zombie. Go, go, baby. Oh, he just wants to hug. Okay, that's fine. Hug it out. Yeah, get, get dead. Okay, dude. There's so many... There's so many enemies. All right, I think we got through the worst of it there. Let's empty all that stuff. Hopefully I brought enough food. These zombies are getting ridiculous. There we go, okay. Another cave spider. Are there more cave spider spawners? 
Uh, I hate this. <laughs> I can't. I can't hit them because the vines are in the way. Yeah. All right. There we go. That's what I thought. There's another spawner right over here. Break it. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is okay. These guys can't take me. They can't really do any damage to me other than poison, and I can... I can heal the poison damage faster than they can dish it out. So, no worries. So many spawners, though. Like, look at this. This is getting ridiculous. He's a little trickier. Why are there so... There's just nothing but cave spiders. I've, I've figured out what this temple is. It's the temple of the cave spider. It's a legendary temple that contains no treasure, but lots of cave spiders. That's what this place is. It, it's gotta be. It's the only reasonable explanation. For real, though. Uh, how do I get out of here? Not that way. I'm thinking... Down? Go deeper? We're in, like, the... The underbelly of the... Of the temple, or whatever this thing is. Oh! The witches. Okay, which is a problem. Because you can poison me, like, forever. Luckily, we killed her before that became a... Before she had a chance. And this appears to very much be a dead end. Just kind of poke around in here a little bit. Now that's... That's just the bottom of the ziggurat. Okay. So... I don't know if there's anything good in this thing or not. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I'm not really sure. Let's go check out the other one. And we'll just take a peek at this and see. First of all, is there some sort of a, like, defined entrance to this thing, right? Like, there's, is there... There's a defined entrance. There we go. We found what we were looking for. Okay. So, and we haven't actually explored this. I lit up a, a very small portion of it, but not much. Presumably, this is also going to be... Another temple of the cave spider type thing. That's my assumption anyway. Um, actually, you know what? I could totally use some jungle wood saplings? No? No, no jungle wood saplings, huh? I was hoping. That would have been nice. Anything else back here? Or is it just... Okay. I have faith. Junglewood saplings. No. Junglewood. No. I mean, we're getting jungle wood, but no saplings, which are what I'm really looking for. Found some zombies. Now dead. Also, that reminds me, our armor leveled up. So we probably have some abilities that we can put on our armor here pretty soon. And looks like we're back to where we came from. So it appears that this is just kind of a, a relatively small thing. Uh, I threw that accidentally. Sleep. Hmm. There we go. All right. Let's get our inventory all situated there. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take a vibrant capacitor. I made three of them last episode. Uh, but I made three so that we can recharge our sword, for example, on the go, which is actually super important because I don't want my sword to break in the middle of adventures. We'll restore our tablet as well, and that used like 300,000 power out of the 25 million available. That's not bad. Okay, let's try and uh, let's try and do something with our armor. I think you hold it and hit L. Yeah, okay, so abilities. Well, these are not... I'm confused, because these don't seem... Maybe if they hit you, that's what happens. Because it's, it, it's, it's giving, like, damage effects, right? Sets enemies on fire, stuns enemies, poisons them. I'm assuming that's going to be if you're hit. Hardened. Heals a portion... Receives a damage buff at low health. So. I mean, Soulbound's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. 
But we, I think we can just put like a soulbound enchantment on it instead. So maybe we go enlightened. And then... Probably absorb will be the other one. So let's see if it's the same now for all of these. Yeah, looks like they all are in that same boat. So basically, we're just going to put hardened on like, or not hardened, uh, enlightened on all of these. And then that should basically heal us like whenever we're hit uh, for a portion of it anyway, which is overall, I think, going to give us uh, quite a bit of like, it's going to make us a lot harder to kill overall. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So we'll try that out, see if that makes a difference. I, this isn't going to be my final armor. This is still armor that we will probably eventually replace at some point. Hello, ability token. What are you? Speed. Eh, not bad. It's a thing. I'll take it. Um, I probably will replace this with some other armor at some point. I just, uh, I just don't know what that armor is going to be yet. So we've explored those. Uh, this we have not explored. This is definitely new. And this is another ability token that I have not yet found. Ano it's it's another speed. It's it's the, it's the same one I just found. Um, okay. Well, hey. That's all right. But this is new. We haven't found a flower forest yet. There's probably all sorts of flowers and stuff over here that we haven't seen. Like, look at how many different- there's flowers everywhere! Every single block, practically. With the exception of the- the grass slabs is just covered in flowers. There are flowers everywhere. It's ridiculous. In a good way. I mean that in a good way. Wow. So many different- I, I had no idea there were this many different types of flowers in this mod pack. It's- it's beautiful. Uh, I don't have a lilac yet, so I will take those. Because I those two high flowers can be bone mealed to give me infinite dye of whatever color. And that's quite, uh, quite useful. We have not yet ex that's, yes, that's the one we just saw. Okay. I'm just kind of looking around. We still need to find a stable master. Where am I exactly? Right here. We still need to find a stable master. And we still need to find an area that's cold where we can hunt for selkies that's far enough away. Uh, sure. I'm just going to take your treasure dragon. I'm, I'm going to let you live. I have enough dragon loot right now. But I do want your treasure. Specifically, your gold ingots. That's, that's really what I'm interested in. Take that one, too. There we go. That seems good. Uh, yeah, we, we need to find Selkies so we can complete that Slayer's Guild quest. But in order to do that, I gotta find a place that's cold. Um, and then we need to wait for it to be night, presumably, so the Selkies will spawn. At least that's what I'm assuming. This is a monastery. This is one of the monasteries, right? Yeah, that's one of the monasteries. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna be coming to this monastery for any reason, so... I'm stealing your waypoint. Sorry, monastery. Hope you don't mind. We should probably check as well and see what other quests we have while we're at it. So we need to talk to a stable master. Uh, this is a repeated quest that we've already done. I need to go go to a Slayer's, Mild uh, Slayer's Guild and turn in the Fire Dragon. And we need to kill a Selkie. Okay, got it. So looking for a few different things... Looks like, is this a second Mesa? It's a second Mesa. Wow. That's pretty sweet. We don't generally find Mesas that quickly. Not that I am complaining about that in the slightest. Um, I wonder if something like this would spawn Selkies. Because, I mean, we've got snow up here, but we've only got snow basically due to the elevation. I wonder if we need an actual, like, wintry biome? Or if we just need, like, a really tall hill with snow. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna look around for a little bit, guys, and I'll come back to you if I find anything cool. All right, guys, I am back, and I've found a village... 
And what's interesting about this village is that from what I can tell, this village isn't actually generated in an incredibly stupid way, with the exception of maybe this one house. But most of this actually looks pretty sensible. Uh, mostly. Not completely, but mostly. Um, and there are some villagers here, some NPCs here that uh, we haven't actually had a chance to come across yet. Uh, okay, I, I lied. So the village isn't completely generated like a in a sensible way. But like this weaver, for example. Do you need help with anything? Hmm, not really, no. Always you can buy cloth. I can't produce it quickly enough. It's simple enough. Just need wools. Okay. So, interesting. Uh, basically, no, no quest there. Uh, I also found a water breathing token, by the way, while I was out and about. Um, hmm. I'm taking your things. I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Just gonna take these with me. I think I can turn these. I can sell that stuff for other purposes. You're a librarian. Do you sell mending books, Mr. Librarian? It doesn't say. Well, Mr. Librarian, I'm taking your bookshelves. You. I don't know, Silk Touch. Huh. I don't know why those drop bookshelves instead of books, but that's an interesting change. That must be, maybe that's like quark or something? I don't know. Either way, um, hmm. Do I want to name this village? I don't know. I'm all, I don't know if I'd plan to come back here. Is there any reason for me to come back here? We should definitely check the blacksmith. What have we got in a blacksmith? Redstone alloy, black quartz, duct tape, dimlet parcels, couple saplings, and some random junk. Okay, so nothing super valuable there. The redstone alloy is really not that valuable. It's basically just redstone and iron. Um, but we can kind of peek around. What about you? You're just, yeah, yeah, that, he just trades for armor. Oh, this would have been an ability token, but it didn't generate properly. Okay, this is, what is this? Oh, it's a, a forge. Okay, don't care. Nothing there. I'm looking for like quests, essentially. I'm looking for people who, who do quest things, right? Things where I can potentially get something. Uh, pergola walls. Okay, I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's really anything here that I'm, interested in are you a villager or yeah you're just a regular old villager not a not a normal not a not a special npc um okay well i think i don't think we're really interested in any of this honestly so i'm gonna steal their waystone uh again because waystones are a little hard to come by so if i can just stockpile a couple of them eh, why not might as well all right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to go back on the lookout. We found a second mesa. I'm like all the way down here at this point. Uh, perhaps... Actually, I think I'm closer to spawn now than I was. Yeah, I'm way... I'm, uh, I'm moving. I'm too close to spawn, I bet. Yeah, for sure. All right, well... Hmm. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, we should check the mail. Let's, let's check the mail. Anything interesting? No, nothing. Okay. So, we know that up here, this is our house. We know that up here there's some colder areas. Um, I don't know that these are actually close enough uh, or far enough away from spawn that they'll spawn selkies. But, I do know that there's only one way to find out. And it's about to be night, too, so let's go home. There we go. And let's kind of go up in this general direction and see if these mountains over here are cold enough to spawn selkies. Because I want to complete our Slayer's Guild quest. La lag, please. Thank you. Yeah, sound system crashed. Attempting to restart. Ah, rip. Rip sound system. That's all right. We're going to kind of keep an eye out. I, I'm assuming that the Selkies are from Grimoire of Gaia. 
That's my assumption, at least. And it's getting dark, but I'm not seeing any mobs spawning up here. And I don't think mobs can actually spawn on, on snow layers. So that could be a problem. Uh, there is a, a colder area that's more to the southeast of our base. But I'm not sure that's close enough. Um, uh, this, this area may be too far. That could be a selkie, though. Skeleton. All right. Well, let's kill, let's kill the skeleton. Uh, except, aren't these, these are not actual skeletons. Though. They're, they're, uh, I forget, I forget what they're called. That's not my dragon, is it? No. No way. My dragon's in my thing. Um, selkies? The problem is I don't know exactly where spawn is. I think I'm close. I think I'm far enough away, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, the strays. That's what they're called. The, the name escaped me for a moment. But all I'm seeing is like regular old vanilla mobs here. I'm not seeing anything special. Rabbits, skeletons, creepers. More strays, more skeletons. Yeah, I don't think this is what we're looking for. What we're looking for is selkies, and I don't see any. There's a charged creeper over here? What? They... Charged creepers can just spawn? Out in the world? That's a little absurd. Yeah, no selkies. Okay. So, I'm going to assume that I'm not far enough away from spawn, and I think I'm going to have to go um, northwest of my base a, a, a little ways. Not, uh, like, I'm, I'm right on the border. Uh, I'm, like, right on that, that fringe of I might be close enough, I might not be. <laughs> uh, so, I think... It's so close. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to go northwest a ways. And see if I can find another snowy area. Uh, we could also kind of peek over at some of these, like, mountains and stuff over here as we're going. See if anything pops up over here. Because this is a little bit farther away. But again, I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any selkies over here either. I don't know how common they are, too. That's the other thing. Um, hmm. I just don't know. I would love to find like a proper snowy biome, but then we got like fire, fire and stuff over here. I don't think this is what we're looking for either. We may not. Ooh, hello. Oh, that, 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 there we go. I see, I see uh, snowy things. And this is almost certainly far enough away from spawn. Cause it's only gotta be 1500 blocks. Uh, another step assist totem. Don't really care. Okay. So let's check this out. We're looking for selkies. Strays. Oh, what is this? A yeti. Um. Uh, a lag? <laughs> That's a bad sign. That's a very bad sign. Things are spawning in like crazy. Can I... Oh, oh, now he wants to attack. Okay, there we go. Now we're going at it. That's fine. Ow. This is like a super yeti. Now you're all the way down here. Hey, guy. Hold still. You, why are you falling down, all the way down here? You don't want to do that. Just stay right here so I can hit you properly. I have no idea what kind of drops this dude's going to give, but... Blight yeti. And I got... Some experience. I got some decent stuff. But I'm seeing yetis, not selkies. And I thought selkies were like water creatures. I thought they lived in... In... Is that a pineapple? Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, I think we broke the game. We were a little too... Uh, we were a little... We were trying to load too many chunks too fast, I think. I'm gonna sleep, I think. I'm, uh, I'm gonna take a nap.
This is super cool, though. We found a pineapple. Is this like a SpongeBob reference? <laughs> did, we, did we find a pineapple? D does SpongeBob live here, of all things? Oh, there's there's things exploding. Okay, that's fine. Hey, stop, stop with the hitting, please. Please, stop, stop with hitting. We also found uh, our first ice dragon. What is this place? This is all chisels and bit stuff. There's a bath. Random AA armor and a, and a token. This is interesting. I don't have any idea what it's... Per this has got to be a reference to something, and I'm just not... Like, this doesn't look like... What, what is this helmet that's on your... An infantry helmet. I'm just gonna break this. And another infantry. It's, so it's an infantry helmet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is, other than just uh, a cool thing to find. I don't know if it serves a purpose. But it's like a... It, it's a pineapple. It totally looks like a pineapple. It's got to be a SpongeBob reference. It has to be. It's the only thing I can think of that makes at all that makes sense at all. Wait, do these iron diamonds? We're gonna. I mean, can I take this dragon? I think I can. I think my armor will protect me. I don't have potions to keep me safe, but. I think I can take the dragon. This might be a terrible decision. But we're gonna give it a try. I think. Maybe. This is also a really cool looking block, by the way. This frozen cobblestone. And there's an ice village. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff over here to explore that we have not yet uh, delved into, and I... Oh, no, I didn't break it. Okay, we're, we're fine. Another step assist token. I'm finding all the step assists. Like, I, I have so many step assist tokens at this point. I don't know what to do with them all. I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I think we're out of time for this one. And we'll some, we'll explore some of this stuff next time, I think. there's looks like there's all sorts of cool stuff over here. Uh, we got another cat little... Uh, I think this is another archaeologist. There's all sorts of cool stuff. So, we're going to kind of take a look around here. Probably kill the ice dragon next time and... Uh, look for a, a selkie again, but guys that is gonna do it for me for this one If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do links in the description below. So check that out as well Otherwise my friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one